Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathy Miller. Welcome to our channel if you are new, and if you're not new, welcome to our channel as well. So we're hoping that you're all having a great day with us. Why are you laughing, Phil? Why are you laughing? <laughs> what did I you, am welcoming... Why did you just say welcome everybody? <laughs> because I want to welcome the new people if they've been, you know, new, and then I'm welcoming the old people back. Okay. So quit laughing at me. I'm not going to be able to talk now. Okay, we're ready. I, I think it's kind of funny. Okay. Hi, everybody. This is Kathy for the Pain Porn by Kathy Miller. Welcome to our channel. We're happy that you could be with us. Today. Everybody. Everyone, wherever you are, That's... welcome. I'm going to show you some of my creations. Phil, just stay right there. You don't have to follow me. The camera shows it all. This one... Um, is really really pretty it's a 12 inch round and it's on a black background the cells are absolutely amazing it is resin coated it is in our Etsy shop as we speak and uh, head on over and take a little gander it's beautiful the sparkle in it is just amazing yeah I love those black backgrounds yeah the next one is my beach scene that I did. This is also resin and it's a 12 by 12 inch canvas. That turned out pretty cool. So you yeah. can see the sand, the water, the clouds in the background. There you go. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean now. That's right. You can you could invite everybody there. I could. Everyone is invited. Just not a few people. You're all invited. <laughs> <laughs> This is my fork that I did. I took a fork, did it down the sides, put my colors down the middle, swiped it, and then instead of swiping the whole thing, I took my fork. And this is a 10 by 20. It is double resined, and it is beautiful. It is ready to hang. Yeah, that is really like colorful. This, or this, or this. Whatever way getting, you want. Okay, unfortunately, I'm getting a lot of, there we go. Glare. Glare. Cool. And last but not least, I have another black background, and this one is beautiful as well. It's really, really sparkly. Um, the colors are so vibrant. This was a moon, moon down the middle. I do want to point out that, uh, as you can see, how vibrant the colors are. Uh, they did not dull when they dried. Kathy uses a lot of color art pigments and their products. And as you can see, uh, they retain their coloration and vibrancy uh, throughout the whole process. And now that it's resin, it's just striking. It's, yeah, it is. It's stunning. So that's all we have for today. We have about five more sitting down on my dining room table, but we'll show you those at another time. And you're welcome to come on over and take a look at our house if you'd like to, if you're in the vicinity. Everyone is invited. <laughs> We're on the everyone kick today. We might not be here when you show up, but that's okay. Just, you know, knock on the door, leave a note. So anyways, getting back to what we're doing here today is, I have my 12 by 12, I already have my sea wash glass color from Sherwin-Williams color to go. I know a lot of you are not able to get the colors to go. I'm not able to get them here yet in Arizona as well, but um, supposedly they're supposed to be in coming back in by fall. The reason I have these is because I totally stocked up. Uh, they told me that they, you know, were going to be out of it. So get your colors while it lasted because they had that really bad flooding in Texas in the uh, where they make these. So. That's why I have so many color to goes, because I mean, I've got like 50 different containers. But the colors I'm gonna use today on this is Amsterdam, which is the Azo Yellow Deep. This is Primary Element Candy Apple. This is Golden Turquoise Phalo. This is This Little Piggy Harvest Gold. This is Liquitex Basics Bright Aqua Green. This is This Little Piggy Twilight and Primary Elements Passion combined. And this is Dick Glick's Deep Violet. Oh, okay. So what I'm doing today 
Well, maybe Phil can tell you what I'm doing today. I don't know what you're doing. I'm doing the lucky seven. Oh, okay. <laughs> Phil, right. you know we're doing the lucky seven today. Oh, my goodness, Phil. Get with the program. Everyone. <laughs> Phil's brain is fried because I think he did uh, two videos today. Oh, my, I think my, my brain is always fried, so that, that doesn't make much difference. Oh, there, okay, there's your, there's your... Lucky seven, Phil. Upside down seven. Well, to me, it's not upside down, but to you it is. This is candy apple, primary elements. A week or two ago, you did, you did the number eight, which turned out pretty nifty. So this uh, number seven should be interesting. Seven come 11. There we go. Maybe 11's next. We got married 7-11, so that lasted. So that was our lucky number. Yes. Actually, my lucky number is 13 as well. Kathy does have an Amazon shop that has all the supplies you may need for paint pouring. There's a direct link to her Amazon shop in the description box. And Kathy also has an Etsy shop with all her original art for sale. There's a direct link to that shop also in the description box. It's fun to kind of click around, see what she has for sale. <laughs> you said that sounds so funny. See what she has for sale? Well, I kind of ended, I didn't know what else to say. I know, I I'm thinking, I, well, that's kind of oh, strange. Usually I, I continue on saying something and I just your brain must be fried if you're it a just lost froze. Words. it just froze the gears jammed well it's not even cold enough to freeze <laughs> tied enough to boil I think one thing I like about you doing the number seven is you should have a nice amount of negative space there. with that uh, green, what was, what was that green color again? The sea, sea glass? Wash. Oh, sea gla uh, sea washed glass? No, <laughs> uh, it is the sea, wa yeah, sea washed glass. Okay, all right. So there, now you can see the seven your way. Yes. Because you said it was upside down. It was. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe if I would have turned the phone upside down, it would have uh, straightened it, huh? You know, that's my phone, so let's not do anything with that. I don't, does doesn't bother me with your phone. Oh yeah, I know that. Because you come real close to putting that in the paint. This is my Oxide Black by Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. Okay, your cell activator. My CA. Cell activator. It's my black magic. Call it my black magic because I love that song, Black Magic Woman. Mm -hmm. Kathy's putting a nice amount of the cell activator on the back of the spatula. You want to make sure you have enough to swipe the whole way down the paints that were, pigments that were laid down. You have to explain that this also is called a palette knife because they ask where we get this stuff. And it's really a palette knife. Oh, okay. Spatula. I, keep, I keep calling it a spatula. Well, it but is a spatula, but it's also it's a, a palette knife. Palette knife. Okay, all right. See, a spatula actually is this and this. Oh, I see. Okay. This is a, see how much smaller? Yes. That's all right. why it's called a palette okay. knife. Okay, all right. We kind of lost our seven there. We gained beautiful cells. Very nice colored shaped cells, but our seven is <laughs> a little bit wonky. Well, maybe it won't be once we do this. Well, that's okay. Doesn't doesn't have to. Well, just kind Did of. Do you want to? Are you going to go all the way off to the end then? Okay. 
Well, oh, we really don't have a seven. Mm -mm. That's okay. It's okay. They all saw it at the beginning. So that's what happened. Wow. Just beautiful cells. Can't have everything, Phil. That's true. Okay, we gotta wait till this part comes up. And this part is having a little bit of a difficulty. Now, giving a little time, it, it may oh, it'll come decide up. to cooperate. Well, I know why, because there's nothing under it, except the green. Remember, it was a seven. See? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, that area, that's true. That area did not have- Color. The colored pigments and paints laid down. Which is okay. Okay, that's fine. So it's not wonky. <laughs> See, it's just like I, this. I still think too. it's wonky. See, but it's still a... like that too. Because okay. there was no. Let's see. Wonkers. Wonkers, but jonkers. It'll come off anyways. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, it will. Don't go too far into the nice cells. That's my uh, unsolicited advice for the day. You always do that. I know. Do I listen? No. No, no I don't. I'm connecting these. Yeah, there we go. I like that idea. They're gonna come off anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta get this here. All right. Well, we're gonna see what happens here, Phil. I don't know. You never know until you do it. Think it's gonna be wonky <laughs> or tonky? I'm liking it so far. Oh yeah, it's a it's a very different composition than you normally do. Oh, I wonder if I, I should tip it a little. I don't know. I really kind of well, like this. I like it a lot. I I don't want the cells to get wonky. <laughs> I'm liking this. I am too. I am too. I like how this. Oh, I like this. The one area here is completely covering uh, the green, but then you've got a wonderful green base coming through between the two swipes and along this edge. And look at uh, look at how the colorations came on here with the gold and so forth. Pretty cool. This actually is kind of pretty. It is. See, and, and if got, I tip it, what's the, going to happen? I'm going to stretch those cells out, and I really don't, I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. And I love how you got the sort of the wispy. Phil, remember? Don't point. Remember <laughs> the last time you went into the canvas? You, I can tell them. You can explain. These are the wispies. <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying I like how it's sort of a subtle connection um, Between the two. Yes. That is really, really pretty. 
Now, I don't know how much glitz we have in there. Let's see. I'm going to get your camera and see. Ugh. Let's take a look at it that way. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty cool that way. Let me just see. Oh, there's some. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, you can see it. Well, you didn't use a lot of... Yeah, there is some, absolutely. The gold, it's the gold. Yes, well, especially on the gold. I mean, the gold is the really... The gold, that's where it is. Right. Ooh, look at that, Phil. Yes. Let's see if we got some done. Ooh, yeah, we got all this. Don't drop the phone, please. See, it's in the gold. Mm -hmm. That's where it is. Right. It's well, really the other pretty. one... Oh, the other ones weren't too. weren't designed for glitz. They were designed for just beautiful coloration, which Correct. you which you got out of it. We achieved it. Yes, you did. You achieved, I achieved it. what I was trying to do. Here, give me this. I'll turn it off. And a, a nicely different composition. This is real. I love you know, and I love this sea glass grass glass. Oh, I love. <laughs> you this. always get that mixed up. Sea washed glass green background yes it's one of my favorite favorite colors yeah, absolutely this is really pretty these colors are beautiful on it yeah they are it's very very pretty and it's it's really a simple design i'm excited with this unique catches your eye that's exactly what you're you know you want it's our lucky seven but well, what yeah. the heck you did. You looked out. You got a nice painting out of it. The seven's even though, gone. Well, that's okay. Well, <laughs> doesn't even look like a seven, the poor thing, but that's okay. You can make any number you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to call this number one. <laughs> so, if you like it, you know what to do. And uh, try this. It's, it's a lot of fun. Just pick out colors. And somebody said to me today... I don't know how you do it, Kathy, but you never get mud. What is your secret? I, my secret is here. That's, that's all I can tell you. I, I just. Well, I, there's, there's more to that than, there than, is, than that. There is. There is. You well, need to know what colors go together. Um, and also you need to have a very good recipe yes. for your pouring medium. A very good recipe for your cell activator, which you have in your recipe video. It never lets me down. And quality products yeah, on never, the right consistencies. You know, and I get a lot of comments with them saying, why don't you go to the dollar store and buy the dollar paints? That's just not me. You can use whatever kind of paints that you want, but to get my creations that I want, these are the paints. I you'll always use quality paints my entire and pigments. life. And pigments. Well, I, let me yes. get there. Okay. Um, my entire life. Phil can tell you I never cheated on my canvases, my brushes, my paints, my pigments, or my resin. I've never, ever cheated on that because you get what you pay for. My mom always said to me growing up, Kathy, you get what you pay for. And it's the absolute truth. You do. You get what you pay for. So um, that's you know, my spiel on this, but I don't know what else more to say, except okay. I'm so glad that all of you have joined us today. Everyone. Ev oh, everyone. <laughs> I'm so glad everyone has joined us today. And stay well, stay f uh, healthy, uh, and just have fun painting. It's only paint. If you don't like it, just scrape it. So until tomorrow, we'll see you all later, alligators, and we love everyone. Bye.